The system of the Rabbeim is a system of success. Today's job is not to change Lubavitch. It's time to be Lubavitch. One of the newest yeshivas in Lubavitch in North America is the yeshiva in Cincinnati, and I have with me tonight Rabbi Gershon Afsen. Welcome to Chabad Life. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much and for having me. It's, it's, it's uh, unbelievable things we hear coming out of Cincinnati. I even have my own son there. Um, and before we get into some of the intricate issues that we want to discuss, how does Gershon Afsen become a founder and director and Rosh Yeshiva of a yeshiva in Cincinnati? Throughout the years of my single life, since the age of 18, during the summer years, I was, summer months, I was the director, teacher or learning director of teenage Lubavitch boys. Whether it was in Hamilton, Toronto, mm -hmm. whether it was in Russia, Hungary, Oregon, Portland, Oregon for two summers. But when I got married, I thought like most young men, I was going to move to a different city, Shlichus. I went to check out different cities in different countries. And I got very serious about a certain city in Oregon, the state of Oregon. And I wrote a letter to the Rebbe, and I got to answer Negris Kodesh that your job is education. At that point, I knew that if I was doing education, I was going to be doing teenage boys. Because that was the age which I felt, A, I was successful in the past, and B, I felt that this was the most needed focus. I got an offer to go to Australia. And I wrote to the Rebbe about it, and I got an answer that I have to deal with American boys. Wow. Fine, so now I knew that I was doing education <laughs> in America. Right. And I got an answer in the Igris that you've seen past success in education. You have to go to the next step and do something which is going to demand from you inner power that you didn't even know that you had. And you will see that that will open up the gates of brachas. I knew that that meant taking it from the bottom up. And then I was put in touch with Rabbi Collinson in Cincinnati, Ohio. He's the executive shliach in Cincinnati, Ohio. And the rest is history. And, the rest, and you've been there? Three, now is the fourth year. Fourth year. So what are some of the things that you think that you pinpointed that needed to be addressed in a different way? A, to build an institution where the entire structure of the school is based on trust and maturity, at the same time discipline. For example, let's say when a boy comes late or misses class, the way I ask him is, so now what happens? I'm not something personal. Uh, there's a system of discipline. What happens now? In other words, you were mature. You decided not to come. So now you know what happens. There's something personal about it. At the same time, you always pay heed to their physical needs. At that age, make sure they have their clothes and know how to wash their clothes. Make sure that they... <laughs> a lot of kids are coming to yeah. the dormitory the 100%. first time. Basic hygiene. They don't they're they're starting at what age group? 14. 14. First time out of right. the house by themselves. Right. Just making sure that they're happy with their roommates. That they have a problem with the food, let me hear about it at the beginning. Different things Excellent. that make sure that they're physically happy. And then we deal with the right. spiritual growth. That was one thing. And then a second thing, which I feel comes hand in hand, maybe we'll talk about that later, was a very positive, warm, idealistic environment where the Rebbe's word is the accepted fact in a peaceful way. They just see that this is just the way of life. Did the student, your students come from mostly from Crown Heights? No. I would say about 60% come from Crown Heights. But then you have Shluchim's children, which are going out of town, or children nearby, whether it's in Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Detroit, or other different places which are near Cincinnati, which this becomes So is this choice. message that you're giving, is that a new experience, do you think, for, us, for, for many of them? 
for sure the ones which are coming from day schools, like Shluchim's children, right. which are coming from day schools, which in general, the Rebbe's message is not a way of, course of life. Not. Because they're not brought up in a Lubavitch institution. But even for those which have been brought up, I was brought up in Crown Heights. But being that, for good or for bad, there's been so much talk about it, everyone knows that this is an issue. So therefore, kids shy away from it. Mm -hmm. This is the first time it's being presented as a matter of fact. Now, do anybody, do the, with the, with you find that the students grapple with the idea that the Rebbe's word is everything? In the beginning, it's very hard to change a boy's mindset. What rules my reality? My first reaction should be when I hear, what's your opinion about a certain issue? Is, Let me check what the Rebbe has to say about it. I would think that the struggles of a student today, no matter who they are, because of after Gimel Thomas, that there's, what gives this basis? Is it just that it's really felt inside, not just that I've been trained that way. Unless a boy feels that the Rebbe is his Rebbe, not his father's or grandfather's, so then he's not going to relate. When it comes to Shavuos, celebrating the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai, Har Sinai, you tell a kid, come listen to the Ten Commandments. You say, why? Because, oh, Zaidi was there 2,000 years ago. He's like, okay, I don't care. You say, you know what? You know what the Medrash says? That your soul was there. It's your celebration. Oh, I was there? So it's mine. Right. Now the question comes, how do you... How do you do that? There are different ways. I feel personally that the best way is by showing that when they have a problem, an issue in their life, the Rebbe will answer them. I live my life, and so do the rest of the Amhala, and that's why it's not so hard to give it over. When we have a problem, we write to the Rebbe, and we get answers through his volumes of Igris Kodesh. Right. I can tell you countless stories of Talmudim that from when they got their first answer, their whole attitude towards everything the Rebbe said changed. Now they feel sure. that they have a Rebbe that relates to them. Now everything the Rebbe says becomes relevant. In your yeshiva, do they follow the, the outline that the Rebbe Shabbos... I try to implement that as much as I can. Two very important works. For educators, it's a work written by the previous Lubavitch Rebbe. It's printed at the end of the Sichas, the talks of 1943. Right. It's called Kloli Guidelines for Education and for you know, development. And, for the and in there, there's 18 chapters of gold. He gives you guidelines to educate. Right. At the same time, there's another work called Kuntus Yitzchayim, which in that book, in that Sefer, which was written for a handbook for the students, it teaches you how to learn. Right. I personally feel, from my experience, because I've spoken to my educators that have educated me, why did you not educate us based on Kuntus Eitzachayim? Right. Or why did you educate us? Are you us? talking about even the thing what the Rebbe, what the Rishab says about how to learn taste yeah. of and Rashi and the flow of things? Correct. Like, I always wondered about why it wasn't being approached that way. And on top of that, why didn't you educate based on the Kloli Chinuch V'adrocha? I'll tell you, every single morning, I learn Kloli Chinuch V'adrocha. Yourself, you mean? With Rabbi Baris. Ah. And I myself, if he's not there. It doesn't go by a day that I don't open up Excellent. that book. That doesn't mean that everything I say, I'm always in control. I, understand. I don't want to paint a picture of this perfect educator. But at least it's on my agenda. It's running through my thoughts. Right. And the thoughts and of And it's myself. the Rebbe's agenda. Correct. It's not that now we have to change the system. It's about time we actually follow the original system. The system of the Rabbeim is a system of success. If you see non-success, you mean, that means that the system wasn't followed. Today's job is not to change Lubavitch. It's time to be Lubavitch.